Good afternoon and thank you for choosing to tune in and watch this book review here at Angie's Art Addict's YouTube channel. My name is Angie and yes, I'm an addict. So the book I have before you is the Grayscale Spirit and Fantasy book by Michelle Tracy. Let me step out of the light here. Um, and I ordered this book off of Amazon and I chose it because I had seen a review video and I really like any of the books that have the colored version, I guess, side by side with the grayscale or coloring version. I guess because I like to try and make the coloring version look very similar to the other one because I lack imagination, I guess. Maybe I'm not sure. Anyways, enough about myself and my issues. <laughs> uh, here's the book review. So it says bonus artist completed paintings included, like I had said before. There's a full color edition along with the grayscale. Um, and the book is, let's see, let me, sorry, I didn't grab a ruler. Let me grab this ruler and tell you how big the book is. So let's see here. The book is um, about 11 by eight and a half. So average paper size. And the cover is a slick cover, decent. Um, thickness so it's not going to be you know easily damaged or anything and on the back here you can kind of get an idea this is 29 stunning designs and I'm going to go ahead and get started with this in the beginning of the book it has a um, grayscale tutorial tips for coloring it goes through and has like a beginner's you know how to kind of get started on it with blending for beginners using gel pens, colored pencils. Um, kind of go step by step. Let me get it back in for you here. And then using like Copic markers, which I just recently got, so I will be excited to try that out in these. Or these out in that. There you go. Um, and go on to the first page. Each one of these are single sided. Both the colored image and the actual coloring image of the grayscale. So I believe the first couple are images that are just like grayscale and color, like very minimal color. So on the back of each picture, it says the name of it. It says, um, let's see here, Contemplation is the name of this piece that she painted. And then the grayscale. This is Whispering Wings. And then the grayscale. And the grayscale, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit closer here. Or maybe just move it. I have gotten some grayscale books that the grayscale looks so fuzzy and it just looks like something I would not want to color. This is not one of those books. I'm sure anybody that has any experience with Grayscale knows exactly what kind of book I'm talking about, but this is not one of those books. It is beautiful, very clear and crisp. Um, and I'm not being paid, but obviously. I'm not, I'm not YouTube famous enough to be paid or, you know, have anybody give me anything for free yet. So obviously anything I show you is stuff I've gotten. <laughs> so uh, this is another piece. It's really pretty. So here is another one and I'm not gonna go through and read you know this is believe and all the different names of everything but they are full cover full color on each one and a lot of these are available individually on her Etsy site I think that's where I first became aware of this artist Michelle Tracy but I had seen on there that there were quite a few that I really liked. And when I seen on her Etsy site um, that there was a book, I went in to her website and followed, you know, all the different links and seen that she had um, a book that had full color in the book right next to the grayscale. And so that was something that was intriguing to me. And so I went ahead and placed my order, and I'm very, very happy with it. I wish that that was something that more artists would do. As a matter of fact, um, not to talk bad about any of the other artists, I guess, kind of, maybe not. I had actually found this because I was 
remembering, I'm trying to remember who it was I'd seen on Amazon that there was a artist who I had seen a book similar to this, and I think it was Selena French. It might have been a different one, but it was called Color My Dreams or something like that. And I had a lot of like fairy fantasy type stuff like this. And when I had seen it, it was a more expensive book, and I wasn't ready to go in that deep and spend that much money. Now I, I feel a little bit more comfortable in, in buying more expensive books, and so I went recently to go and try to find that. Oh, I love this one. Sorry to stop my story, but um, that's really pretty. Um, so when I went to find it, and I did find it on Amazon, I did some research, and in looking it up, I was very displeased with the way the grayscale looked and the way it looked colored. It just wasn't something that I liked. I'll just put it that way. Um, it wasn't as detailed, as crisp. It was very fuzzy. It just wasn't, didn't look good to me and what I prefer. <laughs> um, and then I think I went and Googled um, coloring books with full color, uh, something along those lines, and did a Google search, and I think I found this artist. And then I went and found her Etsy and just kind of was a snowball effect from there. Oh, that's beautiful. Do you see the, the crisp lines that I'm referring to? There's just not anything that's missing from that other than some color, which you can have a great example of how to do that. So I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Great book. Very pleased with it. Love all the redheads since I am one. <laughs> Let's see here. Several men in here. Definitely wouldn't recommend this for a child. Obviously, there's some, you know, somewhat nudity. Very adult scenes, so. I don't know if they have ratings and coloring books, but it's a really pretty one. Seems like there's more than 29. Obviously, that's what it is if... That's what the back of the book says, but it's a very thick book. It does not seem like a book that only has 29. I think that one might be pregnant, maybe. I don't know. I think so. Let me see what the name of the book or the name of the picture is. I'm just sweet dreams. I did notice several with a like a sheer cloth over the breast, maybe. But there are quite a few with like breast showing and you know, not nipples, but the shape of the breast. That one's pretty wicked looking. The dragon. This is one I thought that was pretty neat. Um, has like the, uh, I don't even know what you would call that. I have no idea. I'm lost for words. <laughs> if it was paper, it'd be like it was um, crinkled up, but that's not what that is. I can't think of what it would be. Um, I know like you can take a paintbrush or a paint um, tool and do stuff like that, but it actually, you know, transferred over to the grayscale, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a wolf. I will probably give this to my friend or make a copy of it and give it to my friend next door who loves wolves and has one on her front door, actually. Let's see here. The last one in the book is a Native American type picture with an owl and a little bit about the artist and different ways you can find stuff out about her and all the different platforms she uses Facebook YouTube Etsy Instagram Pinterest all that good stuff so I definitely would highly recommend this book especially if someone enjoys grayscale or enjoys being able to have a full color version to be able to get some ideas from or just to be able to see where the artist, you know, original art came from. Anyways, have a blessed day. Thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.